look at this Nick. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all ain't seen no, y'all ain't seen no neck like that on me in a minute. My neck look like the neck of the bottle. My body too, look. Big as hell, small neck. <laughs> but I got more neck. Like I got more neck. You see my neck? I got, I'm be, I be necking out here. Like I got a lot of neck. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your boy got a neck. <laughs> I do. Period. I got a neck. How about you? <laughs> this is on top of something. Get down. Let me cut it down a little bit. Let me cut it down a little bit to talk a little bit. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <clears throat> I ain't did a video in so long, y'all. I don't even know where to start. But what's up, y'all? This your boy Dame Dash, and I'm back with another video for y'all. Hey, y'all, did you miss me? <laughs> Did I say that right? I think I did. I hope I did. I'm back. Oh my God, I'm back. Oh my God. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for all of the prayers, all of the well wishes, all of the support. Like y'all made me feel so good. Like I was in the hospital, really like emotional, reading the video uh, comments from the three videos Marlon had did and the Instagram DMs, everything like y'all, oh, that felt so good. Like just knowing that you guys really care. Um, it was just praying and everything. Like it just felt amazing. Like it, it's crazy. Um, today I'm going to tell you guys what happened while I was in the hospital and everything I got to do from now on to stay out of the hospital. Um, we're gonna do a hot pot video today. I def decided to do a hot pot because this take a long time and I'll have enough time to explain everything that's going on with me while doing a hot pot and cooking. So I got two cameras going right now. So you'll have two different views and I'm gonna switch it for you guys can see the food and then you guys can talk to hear me talking and stuff like that. But we have a seafood hot pot. I have some king crab legs. I have some shrimp, some lobster, some salmon, Hey, hey, hey. Did I say that right? Salmon, salmon, salmon. Anyway, <laughs> some corn. I have some, um, what's that, bean sprouts? Uh, broccoli, some baby bok choy, some mushroom. I have some um, <clears throat> Smart Balance butter here. Some of my every flavor seasoning right here to season some of this food up with. In my hot pot. <clears throat> the broths that they have are nasty. Like, they were really, really, really spicy or nasty. So what I did is, this is my dip and Dash butter sauce. It is with chicken broth. It's like a whole, like a half container. I use this, like half of it. Chicken broth and the dip and Dash butter sauce. So. If you want to do you a hot pot, you can use my butter sauce and it's really, really good, especially for a seafood bowl. Just imagine how good it is. So we're going to go ahead and start putting some food in here to start cooking these lobster tails. Um, put a king crab leg or two in here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, them bad boys. I should cut. Probably gotta add a little more broth. <clears throat> yeah, I want to. Uh oh, making a mess. Making a mess. I forgot how to do a video, y'all. Oh, oh, this hot. This is sharp. Okay. 
that in there. I'm gonna put more broth in here. Mmm, my God! I ain't had that butter sauce for so long. Okay. Just let me sit up a little more. And a little more chicken broth. A little more chicken brow. So I used the whole container so far. Just to submerge the food off into the broth. Cut it back up. Okay, so. Add some corn. Uh, broccoli. Some mushrooms. Some baby bok choy. Baby bok choy. Baby bok choy. I feel like now I've been home for like a week or so, but I was just trying to get comfortable with my new way of living. Um, so I didn't feel like getting in front of the camera. Hell, I didn't know what to eat, what I could eat. We are gonna get into that a little more. Can y'all see I lost a lot of, well, I lost like 20 pounds. I don't know if y'all can tell by looking at me. But I got more neck. Like I got more neck. You see my neck? I got. I'm be. I be necking out here. Like I got a lot of neck. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your boy got a neck. <laughs> I do. Period. I got a neck. How about you? <laughs> this is on top of something. That's why this not. Oh, it's on top of the lobster. Okay. I'm sorry. Go down in there. Mmm. Okay. This is looking how it's looking. Put a little, little razzle dazzle, a little bean sprout, a little bean sprout in there. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. And put a little butter on here. This is Smart Balance um, Healthy Cholesterol Level Butter. It's not regular butter. I can't have it. So with my butter sauce, I use the Smart Balance as well. Oh shoot, let me season it. Let me put some of that every flavor. Hold on. You gotta go to season down. Like right that. The every flavor on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Got some shrimp. I need a little more butter. I miss y'all so much. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to come back. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, oh no, it's time to go bike to work. See my people. <clears throat> See my people. I miss my people. Did I? Did I? I did not push right. Put a little of that. A little razzle dazzle. Mm. Bam. Now I'm going to cover it a little bit to let it work. Is it touching? Whatever. Okay. So. Oh, wait, y'all. I wanna um put a little lemon on my shrimp. And my salmon. 
lemon on that thing. Okay. What had happened, right? Why I ended up in the hospital. So I think I gotta go back. <clears throat> back to back to the beginning of the year. So coming into the new year, I had just was getting over COVID. So I caught COVID in December of 2019. Um, like right after Christmas. Like I was cooking Christmas dinner when I just couldn't do it no more. Like I literally, I was on live doing my normal live. Caught, like I just started feeling real like weak and tired, right? So, um, I cut everything off and just got in the bed. And as I, I always threw my fan on. So as I was walking past the fan, I just started shivering really, really bad. So I ended up finding out that I had COVID, right? So I had that up until like January 12th, I want to say, or 6th. Yeah, January 6th or something like that. And then I had scheduled me a physical on the 12th with my doctor to make sure everything was good, everything was okay. Um, so after that, I had got a call that was like, come back in after my physical. And I had, um, they said I had, um, I could be prone to diabetes, that I could have diabetes if I don't, you know, try changing how I eat. And they gave me this medicine or whatever, and they said my sugar is really high, and they gave me these pills to take. And I was taking them for a while, and then I was telling everybody what was going on, and then it was just like, maybe that was a, a false positive test. Like, you should get a second opinion. You should get somebody else to tell you if that's 100% true or not, because it could have been COVID messing with your, uh, you know, your levels and all that type of stuff. So I ended up getting a second opinion, but I don't think I went to the right person because I had to do a little surgery. And then my surgeon, the, the people was like, your levels are perfect. Like, you don't, it don't look like anything's wrong, right? Oh, shoot. It don't look like anything is wrong with you. You know, your sugar is fine. All this stuff. So I'm like, well, sure. All right. Because the pills they had me on, it's called metformin. And with these pills, you use the bathroom constantly, like, number two. Constantly, right? So if they, like, you don't really need it, you are right. I was like, Stop taking it. I'm all right. I'm cool. It's good. You know, it's my second opinion. My second doctor or whatever. So I stopped. Wasn't a great idea, I guess not. Or whatever. But I was fine. I was good up until recently. But I don't know if it was because I got the vaccine. I got the vaccine twice. I mean, you know, it take, you gotta get it twice. You gotta have the first dose and then the second dose. The first dose, after it, I was a little off. It was in June, June 19th. I was a little off for a couple of days, but it wasn't nothing major. It was just like a little cold, but I got over that and I was fine. Then the second dose, I got it. After that second one on July 9th, I feel like after that shot, my arm was sore and then I was just weak for the longest. Like I just felt off. I was always saying I'm tired. If y'all have rewind the videos back, I was just so tired all the time. I was just tired and sleepy and tired. Don't know what was happening. Didn't know what was going on. And then finally, what ended up making me have to go to the hospital was, all this happened with the two months, June, July, right? What finally happened that made me go to the hospital was the day of the photo shoot for Aria Beauty. If you look at Mylan's vlog, if you look at the photo shoot from, um, Arya's Beauty, Mylan did like a little vlog or whatever. I literally woke up in so much pain. I was in so much pain, my side was hurting. And I was like, dang, is it because I, 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 like, I was peeing a lot, I was drinking a lot of water, like the Hello, the, um, the Hello Fresh, the, um, the coldest water bottle 
they 32 ounces and I would fill them up with water multiple times of the day and swallow the water in like one sitting. Like I would be drinking the water, one, two gups, done. One and more, just constantly drinking water, 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 peeing a lot. So I was like, dang. And this one night I was like, I'm not getting up to pee. I'm gonna try to hold this pee as long as I can. I am tired. I don't feel like getting up, right? So that's when I woke up and I was in pain, like, oh my God, like, dang. So when I was peeing, I didn't, like, it didn't hurt to come out or anything like that, but my side on my right side was hurting so bad. Like, it felt like, I don't know, like it was needles and, and people poking me and just uh, elephant sitting on my side. It was just bad. So I was like, damn, we just pay for this photo shoot. We got a photo shoot. I got to fight through it. We got to get everything done. So I, I fight through it. Go to the uh, shoot, get everything done. Mylon had a hair appointment after it because the very next day we were supposed to go to Miami. So we were all getting ready for the trip. I was like, all right. My, I was like, Mylon, after the shoot, because we drove one car, after the shoot, can you drop me off at home? Because as black people, I don't know if it's just me, but I always feel like if I take a nap and I go to sleep, that when I wake up, I'ma feel better. Like if my head hurt, I try not to take a lot of pills and stuff like that. So my way of fixing things is sleeping it off. Like, I'll be like, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm gonna take a little nap. I know this nap gonna make my head feel better or make my whatever feel better. Um, but he was like, nah, nah, I don't, I don't think you should go home and go to sleep or whatever. Ma, you might as well ride with me. You might as well ride with me to go get my uh, hair done. I'm like, man, I don't feel like doing that. Whatever, give me a ginger ale. Hold on, I gotta go get some for this one. So I'm like, um, man, whatever. I don't feel like it, but I was like, whatever. Just get me a ginger ale from the stove and some chips. Cause you know, that's another thing that we do. I don't know. My grandma always tell me drink ginger ale, drink some vinegar or something. Another thing, oh shit, that I do when I'm not feeling well, we think of ginger ale as medicine. Canada Dry. That's medicine. <laughs> so, I uh, I get my ginger ale. I'm drinking it, whatever. He getting his hair done. I'm watching the uh, the little show on Netflix that they got playing as you know the braider braiding. And I'm like peeing, like I pee like maybe five times within the hour. Five times within an hour. So I'm like, something is wrong. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Something is wrong. So. So I was like, okay, after we leave here, just drop me up. No, no, after we left there, that's not how it happened. After we left there, we went to go pick up Aria from her mama because we were going to Miami the next day. Everybody going. We're going to Miami the next day, so since we out, let's go pick up Aria. We drove to go pick her up. I'm in a car, <laughs> just it, just just watching YouTube videos in pain, waiting to go to the hospital because I, I honestly was like, I'm fighting through it, you know, whatever. It's something minor. I'm gonna sleep it off. It's gonna be all right. That's just my mindset. I'm gonna sleep it on. But anyway, we ended up going to the hospital, dropping me right off at the hospital. I go in. This 
so many people in there. It's like so many people in the hospital. Like, I don't know if like older people just feel like they need to go to the hospital every day, all day, just because like it's a club in there. They, they bored, like they, I don't know, but it was a lot of people in there. So many people that, you know, when you go back there and get your blood test um, checked, not blood, your pressure checked and your vitals and all that stuff, they normally send you to your room. They didn't do that. They checked my vitals and stuff. And then after they were done, they put me back in the lobby. So I'm like, okay, it can't be nothing that major wrong, right? So after that, I get a room. I'm in the hospital for hours. For hours. And they just giving me all type of stuff. And I'm like, what's wrong? What's going on? They was like, your blood sugar is at like 600 or something. And then my triglycerides, everything was high. My blood sugar, my blood pressure, my uh, triglycerides level was, everything was just super high and it was all like panicking and stuff and I was, it started scaring me because I'm like, I don't know what the hell is happening, what's going on. So they ended up admitting admit, admit me to the hospital. They just had to wait for a room to open up. So I'm like, dang, y'all, I gotta stay in the hospital. I'm like, am I gonna be able to get out to go, you know, to Miami? I'm going to Miami tomorrow. This paid for, everything paid for. Shit, am I gonna make my trip? Or is it, <laughs> or is it bad, like bad? They was like, you gonna be here for a couple days. You might as well call and cancel. And then I literally was like, Oh shit, like, it really got me scared. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? So I was in there for a long, long time and they ended up putting me in the ICU. And I was like, ICU? I don't feel that bad, like what's wrong? Cause at this time I didn't know what, what they were talking about, like triglycerides and all these different things they saying. I didn't know none of that. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. All I know is ICU is bad. All I know is that's critical, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I was freaking out. I ain't even gonna hold you. I was like, man, what the fuck would I do? Be in this hospital. And then I don't know why, but I feel like once I got in the hospital, the pain went from a 10 to a 20. Like, it started hurting even worse. They had me hooked up to maybe like six different bags. I had IV, I had saline, I mean, um, insulin. I had, um, different steroids, I had antibiotics, all these like six different things. I had two IVs, no, one IV in this arm, right here. I had one in my vein right here, one in my arm, like in my uh, wrist right here. I end up getting um, one in my neck right here, it's a little mark. I just had a lot of stuff going on, y'all. And then they couldn't get my triglycerides, triglycerides levels down. So that's the reason why I ended up having to stay in the hospital even longer because they couldn't figure out what kept making it go up. And it wasn't what I was eating because I, for like maybe the first three days, I couldn't eat at all. I was only eating ice. I was only eating ice. So it wasn't, it wasn't the food. Bro, oh, this stuff is done. Yeah, so it wasn't the food that I was eating because I wasn't eating anything for real. Um, we just couldn't figure out what was happening. And it, that was scaring me too because it was like, damn, I'm in a hospital. And people was like, this is a rare, a rare case, a rare study. I ne we never seen anything like this. They didn't know how to treat it. And when I say, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm sorry. 
I don't know if this was a good idea to do this. Um, and when I say the doctors and stuff was coming in, at first they was coming in in groups, like deep. I was like, what? I felt like I was in, uh, what's it called that? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. I thought I was in the movie. There was so much stuff going on. I was scared as hell, y'all. Um, scared as hell. So I end up having to get a um, port in my neck. It was this big needle they put in my neck and then they put this I don't know, this other thing in it went all the way down to like in my chest like right here and they put me on like a dialysis it was the same machine that they use for dialysis which is taking my blood out of my body cleaning it and putting it back in so it was taking my uh, plasma I think it was doing something like that with my blood, cleaning my blood because they were saying because of my glycerols was at 78,000, which is high as fuck. It's only supposed to be, it's supposed to be under 500. So having to be up under 500 and it's at 78, it was 7,800 or 78,000? 7,800, 7,800, that's what it was at. So that's why they were panicking. They was trying to figure out what was going on, man. And, um, I don't know what it was. I just knew I was ready to go and they lift me in there and kept me in there. And then once I figured out that it was like, I could have passed away, like I could have died. I was like, damn, I didn't care how long I was going to be in there. As long as they figured it out and they fixed it, I was fine. Because when they told me that, I was like, oh man. Like, I was hurt. Like, damn. Really? So, I'm happy I did go to the hospital. I'm glad Marlon didn't drop me off. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he didn't drop me off. Because that's me all day. I'll go home and go to sleep and fix it. I, I'm so happy that happened. I changed my mindset. Anything wrong. I coughed too loud. I'm going to the hospital. A lot of people thought it was like COVID. But now, let me tell you about the COVID situation. Because... They were saying that I had um, COVID or whatever. They had thought that I had it because they couldn't understand what was going on, and they couldn't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't something that they could figure out, basically. So they just started jumping to conclusions. I felt, but what happened was. I was getting transferred from the emergency to my room into the ICU, right? And I don't know why. I don't know if it was because it was super cold. I don't know what happened, but I ended up going to sleep and waking up and I could not like smell or breathe. Like my nose was stopped up. Like it was stopped up, but like sinuses stopped up. You know what I mean? You know when your nose be like, it's be, it feel like it's swollen up here. It was stopped up like that. And I couldn't breathe. Like, no matter what, I was like, the nurses bring us real powerful stuff that smelled really, really strong or stank really, really bad to me to see if I could smell, and I couldn't, so she ended up giving me a, um, a COVID test, and it came back, um, it came back positive, but then when I explained to them that I had COVID before, I just got vaccinated, and that it's the antibodies that's, you know, that's probably that just what y'all testing because I didn't have no side effects of COVID. I, didn't, I wasn't coughing. I wasn't sneezing. I wasn't sick. I wasn't none of the things that you would have when you have COVID. I had none of those symptoms. So there was like, oh, okay, because we test for antibodies. When we do COVID tests, it's for the antibodies. And I was like, well, it's going to say I have COVID then because I got the antibodies in me because I had it before. And then they was like, oh, okay. But they still put my room as a uh, um, COVID precautions. So I couldn't have family come up there or nothing because, you know, if you got COVID, you can't have guests and stuff. 
So I was in there bored as hell. Couldn't eat. Oh, and then when I could eat, the food was nasty. Oh, it was the worst, y'all. The worst. But I'm better now. I am on like six different med medications. Um, I had a follow up appointment, and they just was like we, because it was the first week I think. Yeah, I had to make my follow up appointment the first week. I had it on Wednesday. All my doctor's appointment was on Wednesday, and all the doctors did was just told me to stay on the medications. They didn't test none of my levels or anything like that. They was like, just keep doing your medications and we're gonna test it later and see if, you know, everything is better. But it's too soon right now to test the levels. And I was like, what? Okay, whatever. But I don't feel like I'm sick or anything. And I've been doing my medicine and eating so much better. Hey, Dede. I'm filming a video right now. Uh, hot pot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Okay, I'll call you when I get done. Alright, bye, bye That's my cousin Day Day doing a check on me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm taking all the medicines and stuff. So right now, I am taking insulin, I'm taking a metformin, I'm taking something for the glycerides, all this, all this stuff. So every day I'm taking these medicines and I'm feeling better. I am eating clean. This is the, this is not even bad, but this is the most food, most food that I have had since being out of the hospital. And this is not even bad. So it's the salmon, broccoli, the, the lobster, everything is fine, the seafood and stuff. They really don't want me to eat a lot of red meats, um, eat a lot more vegetables than meats, period. You know, the normal. Um, I can have the seafood. I just can't have regular butter anymore. I have to change my butter to like Smart Balance or margarine or other things like that. Um, and watch my sugar intake. But surprisingly, I don't eat a lot of sugar. Like, I do not eat a lot of sugar. Like, I have a craving every now and then, but I'm not just eating sugar and stuff like that. And then, you know, somebody in the hospital recognized recognize me from YouTube and stuff. And I just feel like people automatically assume because if you do mukbangs and stuff like that that you just eat so unhealthy. And now I do. I can't have no fried food no more, y'all. And y'all know I love some fried seafood, but I can't do that no more. Um, but off camera and stuff like that, I do not eat unhealthy. And people was like, I'm surprised you're not bigger than what you are. I'm like, it looks like I eat a lot, but I don't really eat that much food. I don't. It's a facade. <laughs> um, but anyway, they ended up finding out that I was a YouTuber and that I did mukbangs and eating and stuff like that. And then they started watching my videos in the place. And one of the doctors was like, yeah, I've seen your videos. Yeah, you can't eat like that anymore. And then I was explaining to her. She was like, oh, okay, well, I understand. But change it up. I'm like, all right, cool. That's what I'm going to do, y'all. So we got different stuff coming. We got some diabetic meals coming. <laughs> We're going to have different stuff that's better and healthy for us. Cooking. A lot more cooking videos. A lot more cooking videos are coming. And I'm going to just have a lot more seafood. Different ways. Oh, my God. This is good. Hot pot is healthy. Vegetables and seafood is good for you. Chill. Right? So, if y'all got some good ideas for recipes, 
Let me know. I'm like, oh man, what happened? My other camera had went out, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have some good recipes for us. The video that you guys seen on my vlog channel, if y'all watched it, that was previously recorded. That video, that video is old. Um, that was shot the same week of my um, actual birthday vlog, the first part one of it. But I was bored. And I had to finish edit, edit, editing it, so I put it out. I should have put a, um, a little previously recorded thing in there. I'm sorry. But this is the me right now. Today is the 16th. Yes, August 16th. Okay. And I'm bite. Butters. I want to thank everybody who support me wholeheartedly. I love y'all so much. Like, there's so many people who did chargebacks. I'm not complaining about it. There's so many people who put in um, requests to get their money back from PayPal and on the website they did chargebacks from their bank and you know they automatically get your money back when you do that and it comes out of my account and a, and a fee even though I tried to explain you know what was going on and stuff like that people still did that and that's fine I'm not going to trip about that but for the people who didn't give not one fuck about their order and they spent money with me and they understood what was going on i love y'all so much i love y'all so much because so many people was like i don't give a damn about that butter is he all right like is, what's going on with him and it just made me feel like dang people really do you know love me out here and that's crazy like this is overwhelming and i appreciate it hmm This food is really good. I mm know. -hmm. Am I camera about to cut off? Mm -hmm. This is really good, y'all. The hot pot, I'm going to try to link it below. I got it from Amazon. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's the broccoli anymore? Oh yeah, I want one of these too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely need a king gravy. But yeah, y'all lost like maybe 10, 15 pounds in the hospital. And I've been keeping it off since I've been back. I'm keeping it off. Dalvin was in there. I was talking to him. Because a lot of people thought, or a lot of people probably still think that I was in there because of COVID, but I wasn't. I was not. <clears throat> but I was um, talking to him because I know how I feel, man. Been in that hospital like that. I'm so happy he out of there.
Uh oh, hold on, y'all. Let me let me be right back. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Woo. So, can y'all give me some good, like, foods? Some good uh, ideas or suggestions? Cause I've been eating a lot of salad, a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of salad, a lot of salmon, um, chicken, baked chicken, and vegetables. No rice, no potatoes. Ooh, this hot. No rice, no potatoes, no bread. Oh, I had wheat bread. I had a sandwich with wheat bread from um Jimmy John's. But no regular white bread, nothing. They say nothing white, basically. All whites turn into sugar. I've been trying to stay away from it. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Look at this. I need to do a thumbnail. I should put oh I should put this on the grill. Mm. Mm. It's so tender. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Crab? You ever had it? Mm. You want some salmon? Mm -mm. No? Mm. Okay, I'll bring y'all some. I want to give a shout out to my auntie. My auntie been holding it down at the butter factory. Oh man. Excuse me. That's the drink. Mmm. Munch is holding it down at the butter factory, y'all. Getting the orders out. <clears throat> Ooh. 
I ain't been, I ain't been to work in a minute. Mm. I'm going back this week because we got to kick it into full throttle, full throttle. I've been getting my rest. Everybody like, make sure you get you some rest. I am. I'm, I'm rested. I'm ready to go back to work. I've been resting off the camera a couple days now. I was in the hospital like eight days. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> I miss y'all. I want to see the love in the comments, okay? In the comments, I know after eating this, <laughs> y'all remember what I told y'all about the pill? It's gonna be a mess. Mm. Mm, another piece of crab leg. These kids want my food. Oh my God, y'all, that's another thing about changing the way you eat and stuff. That shit is expensive. The food is expensive. For it to be all healthy and stuff, sugar-free and <clears throat> that's hot. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. I ain't no discount on it. We got half of the stuff in there anyway. You know? Ooh. I'm gonna tear that little piece up. I'm gonna tear it up! And then I'm out. And then I'm out of here because... Which corner is this? I just put one in. But then I had one that was already in here. I think this is. I don't know. Which one is each? That one was like the one been in there. Yeah, y'all. I'm back, yo. What y'all wanna see me eat next? Something healthy, what? Or what y'all want to see me cook next? Like, what y'all want next, you know? Cooking video, another mukbang, or something. No foot. I want to do, like, shop with me. He's going to the grocery store and finding some healthy foods and healthy ideas and healthy recipes. Making healthy food. Um, that's, that tastes good. Like, cause in the hospital, I was in there really, really suffering when it came to the food. Like, they wanted me to eat, right? <clears throat> the staff knew that the food at the hospital was disgusting. They were either okay with me, um, ordering like DoorDash and Uber Eats. And they will go down and pick it up. I worked, I was doing it for the first couple of days, but then when um, the doctor, they he didn't know what was making my uh, triglyceride go up, and he came in there panicking when I had ordered a steak. Nobody said I couldn't have um, like steak or red meat at that at that point, you know. And um, I had ordered it from DoorDash, and the nurse and everybody knew that I had it, of course, because I didn't go down and get it myself. They gave me permission to order it. $50, you know. $50 steak. <clears throat> I 
Um, the nurse said she called the doctor and told the doctor that I was about to order a steak and all that stuff, and the doctor didn't say anything that I couldn't have her or nothing like that. But I'm eating my steak, you know, watch my little Netflix, <laughs> eat my steak. The doctors run in, the doctor run in, no steak, no red meat, snapping. Snapping, okay? I'm gonna let My bad, I ain't know, you know. The doctor, I mean the nurse. Bullshit, what was that? That could have blew my head off. The nurse said it was all right. I didn't know that it was an issue or it was a problem or anything like that. He was like, yeah, we don't know what's going on. We're trying to figure it out. This is gonna mess it up. I'm like, damn. I got to start feeling bad because I was like, I don't want y'all to think that I'm in here wanting to be in here for one and then eating stuff that I shouldn't eat on purpose because that's not the case. She said I can order it. They had came in and I was like apologizing and stuff because they didn't think it was nothing wrong and then said that they had told the doctor But that was the doctor that I Can y'all, I'm doing a video, what did I tell you? Um, and had told the doctor that I was ordering and stuff. And I knew this doctor, this doctor is the doctor that I had since I first got, you know, admitted into the hospital. So he was really passionate and he was really, really trying to figure out what was wrong with me. So I didn't want to feel like I was being, um, a bad patient, you know what I'm saying? So I felt bad stuff. After. And I was kind of mad because I just spent $50 and I didn't even get to eat it. You know, I just threw it away. But whatever, it didn't matter. Um, so. I just stopped ordering out. I just started eating the food that they had there. Which was horrible. Like, it was really horrible. Like, it was like, dang. It just made me feel like I need to do something for people who are diabetic and who don't, um, who got, you know, different diets and who just can't eat whatever they want to eat whenever they want to eat it type of stuff. Like, better recipes or healthier choices that's good. So, that's my mission. I'm going to start different recipes for healthy living and a lifestyle change and different stuff like that like you could still have the things that people who got normal diets can have you just got to have it in a different way is this something on my lens well i guess i live there today something's on my lens and i don't like that um <clears throat> yeah so i'm gonna start Making some good bomb food. Mm. <clears throat> oh, this corn is so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Ooh, huh. Mm. Ooh, hot. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Alright, y'all. <clears throat> I am done eating. I don't want to overeat. It makes it seem like I ain't eat nothing at all. But I did, and I'm full. Mm. Woo! Okay, I'm done. Mm. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I keep saying okay. But thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me, watching the videos, y'all. We almost at 200K. We're so close to 200K. Um, I just love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Each and every single one of you guys. I love y'all. And I'm happy to be back. Give me some ideas. Give me some things to um, to do over here. Because I want to do more cooking. I don't want to do a lot more. I don't want to do a lot of eating. But I don't want to separate um, myself from the channel either. So I want to do a lot more cooking over here. I can cook um, dishes that's not even healthy because I just won't eat it. I'll, you know, give it to uh, my family and stuff like that. I'll cook it for them. So even foods that I can't have, I can still cook. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, excuse me. We're going to start working on our cookbook. That's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start working on our cookbook and recipes. Okay? So we're about to go on this venture. Together. Look at this neck. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't seen no, you ain't seen no neck like that on me in a minute. My neck look like the neck of the bottle. My body too. Look, big as hell, small neck. <laughs> ah! Let me model for y'all. Let me. Look, look, skinny. Yeah, <laughs> look skinny. I don't match. Don't. That's not the point. I threw this on for the video. Little skin, titties then went down. <laughs> All right, y'all, I love y'all so much. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what we don't know for We constantly winning, we constantly growing. And see y'all in the next video. Bye.